Hi, it's Brent Abel here, Web Tennis, and I want to talk to you about your plantar fasciitis injury. And you know, I, I've been through a couple of plantar injuries. The last one, fortunately, was about 15 years ago. And one of the big mistakes that I made when I tried to, you know, rehab my my last plantar injury was was this notion of strengthening. And it kind of made sense instinctively to me that if I strengthened up my legs, specifically my calves, that I would be able to treat this injury. And the problem was is I really had it out of sequence. The strengthening really needs to come after you go ahead and reduce inflammation and eventually get rid of the inflammation and, and, and get, that, get that injury healed. And really what I was doing, I was doing all these calf raises. I'm sure you've seen, or I should say heel raises, where you know you simply are standing up. I don't know if I'm in the video here or not anymore, but to where you know maybe you're up against a wall and you're just lifting up, you know, you're just standing up on your toes, lifting lifting up those heels and really you know trying to strengthen your calves and for me and what I've heard from so many others that are suffering from from this injury is that when you've got inflammation in that plantar fascia connection to, to, to your heel not only is strengthening painful but number two is all you're doing is just aggravating, kind of re-aggravating that inflammation that you've got there with the fascia uh, connection to your heel bone. So really the sequence is until you get rid of the inflammation, which I want you to do with stretching as opposed to strengthening, until you get rid of that inflammation, strengthening is not going to help you at all. So I really want to make sure that if that's what you're doing, you cut out any kind of strengthening activities right now, even long distance walking. If you think about it, you're building up your calf muscles. I'm not saying that you want to lay down on the couch and just watch TV and drink beers and chips and all that kind of stuff. But what I am saying is that when you've got inflammation, you've got pain, don't do any strengthening. You got to do some stretching. All right. Right below the video comment area, let me know. Have you been doing some strengthening at all? You know, what's been your experience with it? I really want to hear from you. All right. Thanks very much. Have a great day out there.